Creativity is the production of solutions that are new and of value. Uh, when you talk about creativity, you can talk about a creative person, a creative process, or activity, or a creative product. But it all kind of revolves around the creative product. So a person is evaluated as creative if they create things, if they make things that are new and of value, or if they engage in a process that tends to result in those things. Well, there is increasing belief, which is great for me because I like to bring out people's creativity, that everyone has it. The study all of us who believe, who like to teach creativity and talk about it, refer to as an IBM study from a few years ago that interviewed, I think it was 1,500 CEOs and heard from them that the most important leadership quality for the 21st century and onward is creativity above any other characteristic that was listed. It seems that the primary reason why is the world is changing so rapidly, increasingly competitive, greater awareness of huge problems that are very hard to solve, you won't be able to function effectively unless you are a creative leader. Unfortunately, they also feel that, fewer than half of them feel that they, the people they have working for them and possibly even themselves have the requisite creativity to solve the problems they'll be facing. With the growing awareness that creativity is important to business, they've started looking around for where they can find it and without a belief that they can grow it themselves or induce it in themselves or find it somewhere in their organizations, they've gone places that have a reputation for being creative. So designers, what's more creative than a designer or an artist or whatever? And design thinking came out of the sort of the design tr tradition, but looking at where that tradition fell short. So design thinking has the typical stages of the creative process. And you define the problem and you learn all about it and you generate ideas and you pick the good ones and then you develop them. But the two things that are heavily emphasized in design thinking are reaction to where it came from. The first is building empathy. You have to get inside the user's head and develop something that is real, truly of value. The other thing that is characteristic or emphasized in the design thinking mindset is prototyping, rapid, frequent prototyping, which is something else that was missing. Test all the time. Learn tools. So when I've run out of ideas and I'm brainstorming by myself ways I can solve a problem, I could just sit there or I could go off and incubate, which is always a good idea, and then come back. But there's a whole arsenal of tools that have been developed to help people come up with ideas when they feel like they've run out. And they're all connected to various uh, biases and patterns and perceptual kinds of impediments we, we have built into the way we live. It's a good thing that we see patterns, that we categorize, that we have routines for doing things. Otherwise, when we wake up in the morning, it would take us hours and hours just to get dressed. But those patterns and those frames and assumptions can get in the way of finding solutions that are not obvious, and not usual. Practice getting into mindsets. Practice thinking in an associative, divergent way. And learn some tools.